Good morning, future teachers. For this morning, we'll be discussing another lesson on mathematics of investment, which is commission, tax, and profit. But before we move on, let us first have a warm-up exercise. I would like you to estimate the following. Please post this video um, before answering. And then if you want to check if your answer is right or wrong, then uh, continue playing. Number one, 20% of 602 is equal to 120.4. And then number two, 133 out of 264 is 50.38. And then 151% of 78 is equal to 117.78. And then for four, 42 out of 150 is equal to 28%. By the way, the objectives of this presentation would be the following. First, convert fractions to decimal and percents and use them in estimations, computations, and applications. And then solve problems that involve sales, tax, commissions, and tips. These are the words that you must know uh, for you to be able to understand really what is uh, being discussed in this lesson. Commission. It is a fee paid to a person who make a sale. It is usually a percent of the selling price. This percent is called the commission rate. Take note that commission rate times sales is equal to uh, the commission. Uh, napakarami nating mga pagkakataon na pwedeng gamitin ang commission. Lalo na ngayon, di ba? napakarami mga nag-online selling. Meron tayo mga tinatawag na resellers doon sa online selling. Itong mga resellers, uh, sometimes sila ay nangungumisyon. Ibig sabihin ng nangungumisyon, kumukuha sila ng mga products from a certain person and then binibigyan sila ng certain percentage para doon sa kikitain sa mga products na iyon. At ang tawag natin doon ay commission. At yung commission ay depende sa uh, agreement ng uh, dalawang tao no? kung ano ang commission rate. So sometimes 10%, sometimes 20%, yun yung nagiging commission ng isang uh, reseller mula doon sa pagkibenta niya ng mga products. So don't you worry because we'll be dealing this uh, commission a little, a little deeper later. Another is the sales tax. Pag sinabi natin sales tax, it is the tax on the sale of an item or service. It is a percent of the purchase price and is collected by the seller. So dito sa Pilipinas, uh, lahat ng binibili natin meron namang tax yun. Ano? Meron tayong value added tax na idinadagdag na doon sa uh, binabayaran natin. So meron din tayong tinatawag na sales tax. Ito yung uh, pag binili mo yung isang bagay, meron ka pang dagdag na babayaran doon dahil meron siyang sales tax. Depende din yon sa uh, percent of the purchase price. So habang lumalaki yung percentage, mas lumalaki yung nadadagdag doon sa babayaran mo. Okay? So let's review. Find a percent of a number. So these are the steps in finding a percent of a number. I know that you already studied uh, this during your business mathematics. So number one is rewrite 36% as a decimal. Of means multiply, then multiply decimal and a number. So take note of this of. During the discussion on uh, the mathematics language and symbols in the general education for if you still remember the mathematics in the modern world we discussed their um, mathematic symbols and language and of means multiplication suppose that we have 36% of 825 again the first step is to uh, rewrite percentage to decimal so we rewrite 36% the decimal so we move the decimal from uh, 
we move the decimal point from the right two times to the left. So you will be having 0.36. Or you simply divide 36 by 100, so you will have 0.36. And then of 825. And take note that of means multiplication. So 0.36 times 825, you will have an answer of 297. So that means 36% of 825 is equal to 297. Finding a commission. So, ito na siya. Yung halimbawa, papaano nagagamit ang uh, commission in solving real-life problems. Your family is selling your house for 160,000 pesos. The real for charges 6%. How much will the real for commission be? So, ayan, mag may bibenta daw kayo na bahay. Ang halaga niya, 160,000. Tapos itong real for, nag-charge siya ng 6%. Magkano? yung magiging komisyon ng uh, real for. So, of course, 6% of 160,000, this is 160,000, is equal to, we change uh, 6% from percentage to decimal. So, you simply divide 6 by 100 times 160,000 is equal to, um, is equal to, we cancelled out the two zeros. Ayan, kasi ganun lang din naman yun, no? Dahil uh, multiplication naman yung ating operation. One is in the denominator and one is in the numerator. So, we can cancel out uh, zeros. So, we cancelled out two zeros here. Six by one is equal to six. Then, the remaining here is 1,600. And then, we multiply six by 1,600. The Realtors Commission is 9,600. So, ganun kalaki kumita ang mga uh, real for, you know? uh, Imagine that, nagbenta lang siya ng uh, bahay. Meron na siya agad 9,600. What if kung ang price ng bahay ay million-million? So, mas malaki yung pwede niyang maging commission. A real estate agent is paid a monthly salary of 9,000 plus commission. So, ayan daw yung sweldo ng isang real estate agent. Last month, he sold one condominium for 650,000 pesos, earning a 4% commission on the sale. How much was his commission? And then, another question, what was his total pay last month? So, ganito kasi yung mga real estate agent. Meron silang fixed na sweldo kada buwan and then meron silang uh, commission sa lahat ng sales nila for uh, the given period of time. So in this case, monthly. Ano? So aside from that fixed na salary niya na 9,000, meron pa siyang kita na 4% kada sales niya which is the commission. Ayan. Ang tanong, unahin muna natin yung first question, how much was his commission? So, let us uh, solve for the commission by simply multiplying 4% or getting 4% of 650,000. So, to do that, you will have 4% times 650,000 is equal to C or the commission. So, we change the percent to a decimal. So, 4% is 0 0.04 times 650,000 equals the commission. So, you will have 26,000 equals C. So, yun yung commission ng uh, real estate agent. No? Uh, 26,000. So, imagine that. Isa lang yung condominium na naibenta niya at 650,000 meron na siya agad commission na 26,000 pesos. So, we already answered question number one. But we still have question number two. And it is, what was his total pay last month? So, ang na-earn niya na commission 26,000 para dun sa na-ibenta niya na condominium, let us now find his total salary for the month. So, dahil nga, Ang total sa ang fixed salary niya ay uh, 9,000. This is 26,000 plus 9,000. So this is equal to 35,000. So ang buong kikitain niya sa buong buwan ay 35,000. Isang condominium lang ang naibenta niya. Okay? 
So summary, to change a percent to a decimal, move the decimal two place to your left. Okay, so 35% is equal to 0 0.35 or you divide the percent by 100 to get the uh, equivalent decimal of the percent. Finding the tax. So that's just, basically that's just commission. Ganon lang kadali ang pagkuha ng commission. You are just multiplying the percent into the sales and then you will get the commission already of a certain agent. This time, finding the sales tax. Here's an example. The sales tax rate where you live is 8.5%. Your family is buying a car for 28,540. What is the total cost of the car? Yung sales tax rate, uh, it varies depending on uh, where do you live. So kapag medyo urban, medyo mas mataas. Kapag medyo rural, medyo mababa ang uh, sales tax rate. So kung bibili ka daw ng car na 28,540 at ang sales tax rate, sales tax rate doon sa lugar ninyo ay 8.5%, magkano na ngayon yung papayaran mo sa uh, para magkaroon ka ng sasakyan? So find the sales tax, you simply multiply 8.5% by the price of the car which is 28,540. So again, we change 8.5% uh, to decimal. So you will have 0 0.085 times 28,540 which uh, will have a product of 2,425.90. So ito na ngayon yung uh, sales tax rate. Yung sales tax rate na yan, itadagdag natin doon sa original price of the car. So you will have 28,540 which is the price of the car plus the sales tax rate which is 2,425.90 so you will have 30,965.90 so ito na ngayon yung babayaran mo para magkaroon ka ng car Another example, if the sales tax rate is 6.75%, how much tax would Adrian pay if he bought two CDs at 16.99 each and one DVD for 36.29? So si Adrian may binili siya dalawang CD at saka isang DVD. Ang sales tax rate ay 6.75%. So, kuhanin muna natin yung total price. No? Magkano ba yung nabili ni Adrian? So, dalawang CD. So, 16.99 times 2 is 33.98. Saka isang DVD na ang halaga ay 36.29. Then, we add. So, you will have 70.27. Ito yung total na nabili ni Adrian. Eh, kailangan kuhanan natin yan ng sales tax rate. Which is 6.75%. Changing 6.75% uh, to decimal, you will have 0 0.0675. Multiply it by the total uh, amount na nakuha o nabili ni Adrian, which is 70.27. So, you will have 4.74325. Yaan ngayon yung ating uh, sales tax rate. So, yung babayaran niya ay 4.74 in sales tax. Plus, i-add natin yung uh, ito na 70.27. So, yung, ang magiging uh, total na babayaran ni Adrian would be, uh, we add 70.27. 70.27 plus 4.74 is equal to 75.01. So, yun yung total na babayaran ni uh, Adrian. Estimating to find tips. Yan na, tip na, no? You and a friend go to a lunch in a carinteria. Siyempre siguro dahil nga na-miss nyo ang isa't isa when the environment gets better, uh, nag-go out kayo for lunch. The check comes to 250 pesos sa shawl. Find the amount of 15% tip for service. So, sa karinderia, may tip na din, ano? 15% yung tip for service. So, totoo naman, ano? Kailangan, paminsan-minsan, if you have extra money, lalo na kung maganda naman ang service, you give a tip to your, uh, to your service na ibinigay sa iyo. Okay? 
So, 15% of 250 kasi 15% daw yung fee for service. Dun, dun, dun sa total na babayaran ninyo. So, ang total na babayaran ay 250. So, you get 15% of 250. Changing 15% to decimal, you will... Ay, yes, to decimal, you will have 0.15 times 250, so that's 37.5. So, ito ngayon yung ibibigay yung tip doon sa uh, para sa service doon sa retailer niya. 37.5. A retail store earns 40% profit on all sales. If total sales are 3,320, what is the profit? Ayan, a retail store. Merong isang retail store. Pagpalagay na natin na nag-retail siya ng ice cream. No? Doon, uh, 40% daw yung profit niya sa lahat ng mga maibibenta niyang ice cream. Eh, ang naibenta niya ay 3,320. Magkano ngayon yung kikita in store na yun? So, we will get the 40% of 3,320. So, let us... Uh, that profit be equal to x. So, x is equal to 40% times 3,320 you multiply. So, x is equal to 1,328. So, the profit is 1,328. So, ibig sabihin, ang kanyang kikitain sa pagbebenta ng ice cream uh, with 40% uh, profit on all the sales at nakabenta siya ng 3,320 ay 1,328. So, di na masama yung pinita niya. No? Okay. A furniture store earns 40% profit on all sales. If the store earns 5,680, kadalasan kasi 40% ang ibinibigay natin dun sa mga nagbibenta. No? Tapos, 60% doon sa may-ari talaga. Kasi, uh, siya yung namukunan kaya medyo mas lamang siya ng konti. Okay? So, 5,680 yung total sales dun sa isang furniture store. How much are the total sales? Ah, okay. So, ito, yung 5,680, this is the uh, profit already. Ang tinatanong ngayon dito ay yung total sales. So, ito na yung kikitain ng furniture store. Yung 5,680. So, magkano ang kanyang total sales kung 5,680 ang kanyang magiging profit? At yon ay sa 40%. So, see, 5,680 is 40% of what number? Yun naman talaga yun, ano? 40% of what number yung 5,680? Since yung 5,680 is already the profit, magkano ang total sales? So, let S be the total sales. So, our unknown variable here is S. So, you will have 5,680 is equal to 0 0.40 or 40% of S or the total sales. Kasi ito namang 560, profit yan. Nakukuha natin yung profit kapag minultiply natin yung percentage at saka yung total sales. Eh, nawawala dito yung total sales. So, that's S. To solve for S, we divide the whole equation by 0 0.40. There, both sides will be divided by 0 0.40 para mawala ito at ang matira na lang ay S. So, 5680 divided by 0 0.40 is equal to 14,200. Meaning, 14,200 is the total sales. Para kumita ka ng 5,680, kailangan mo makabenta ng 14,200. Okay, lesson quiz. Please uh, post this uh, video before answering and then if you want to check, just continue playing your uh, video, this video. First question, every month, Jillian makes 16,600 plus an 8.9% commission on sales. If her sales last month totaled 18,400, what was her total pay? Then number two, the sales tax is 5.75% and the shirt cost 20 pesos. What is the total cost of the shirt? Number three, Sheridan has a yearly income of 39,650 and he is advised to invest 4,500 every year. What percent of his income should he invest to the nearest tenth of a percent? Nearest tenth. A grocery store earns 5% profit on all canned goods. 
if the store sold 1,635 of canned goods, what was the profit? So these are the answers. For number 1, the answer is 3,237.6 pesos. For number 2, that's 21.15 pesos. For number 3, that's 11.3%. And then for the last one, that's 81.75 pesos. So that's uh, commission, tax, and profit. If you have any more questions and clarifications with what we discussed this morning, please feel free to send a message in our group chat, SEM5BSE2B. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. Keep healthy and safe. God bless you all future teachers.